Hello, friends. I uploaded my video of this deck, the flip through for this deck, and I uh, had a few comments on there that um, wanted to, were interested in or, or wanted to hear the meanings of a couple of cards. So, you know, I feel like um, I kind of want to get into that more just because why not? If this is, you know, I do read cards um, for myself and, you know, we read cards for each other. So you might as well look into them, right? So a um, couple of people first um, was uh, Teresa. You're going to have to tell me if I'm saying this correctly, but Teresa Gar Garst or Gerst. Let me know what it is. Um, she was interested in meandering path. So I pulled the meandering path out um, so we could look at it. It is number 24 and it's pathway. And the meaning is flow. And we have our pathway. We have the gentleman, uh, pro probably a wizard. Um, it's in the forest and it looks like we're, we have some sun poking through. He does have his staff here um, and it is lit up. So uh, let's look. I've marked the book where that's at. So let's go over and, uh, and read it and see what we've got. Okay. Another one we're going to look at. I think it's my second one in here. Okay. So let's look at meandering pathway flow. As you saunter down the path, you are not sure what is around the next corner, but you are really relishing the moment. You gaze at the interplay of light and dark of the leaves of the trees and inhale the fresh forest air. All is well. You know that you don't have to see your destination. All that is required is to enjoy the journey. When life presents you a meandering path rather than a straight shot to a goal, you can feel frustrated. You might bemoan the fact that the path seems aimless and redundant roundabout and that you can't see what's ahead. On the other hand, you can just enjoy the voyage. If life right now seems to have some sinuous curves, bends, loops, and turns, don't despair. All is as it should be. This card is suggesting that you relinquish control to the path for forward and just see what it takes, where it takes you. You don't have to have all the answers to succeed. You don't need to know what tomorrow holds to have an astounding future. Simply sit back and enjoy the ride. You'll get to exactly where you need to be for your highest good. The spirit of meandering path says everything falls into place when you don't resist the flow of the meandering pathway of life. Allow the path to take you where you need to go. Don't hurry it or resist it. Simply let go, surrender, and enjoy the journey. That's a beautiful card. Let me know, um, Teresa, if that it resonates with you. Um, it definitely resonates with me. It's a it's a beautiful card and um i think i did a lot of resisting as a younger person um and i'm letting myself flow obviously continuing on our path but let the path take us where it will um i like that a lot um here's the card again meandering path number 24 and it's flow okay so then um so then silver soul fox commented that she really liked uh number 21 and that is this one here it's Guardians of the Land, and it's protection. It's got the tree and then the forest in the background. It has some toadstools and some brush and I think a fern here. And then it has this beautiful stag. Um, so let's look at this one and see what we, what we get. 21, okay, I think that was this one here. Let's see. Guardians of the land, protection. You are safe. These words seem to emerge from the land and radiate from the trees to echo in your soul. You hear these words again and again. The sacred guardian of the land are whispering to you. You are safe. You know that you are protected and cared for. You can feel tendrils of their loving energy wrap around you and embrace you. Their unleashed power cocoons you in safety. You are enough just as you are, no matter what has happened or occurred in the past. The truth is that you are absolutely and unconditionally enough as you are. You are loved. 
you are cherished. Do not be concerned about outside forces and the judgment and expectations of others. You are protected in your own energy field. This card can appear when you need to take steps to protect your energy. While the guardians of the land will help you, you must also be responsible for your own well-being. Envision a protective shield around yourself and around your home. Spend time with people and in situations that uplift your energy rather than draining it. The spirit of the guardian of the land says, You are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protect, protected by higher forces. Within this, you soar. Within this, you can soar to great heights. This is really interesting. Um, I was in Sassy and Disco's um, live last night. I was on there watching it, and they pulled a card for me that was very similar to this. Um, I think Disco pulled it. Um, I'd ha I'll have to rewatch and see which one it was, but. Um, and it was a lot about you are enough. Um, I've always felt a little different. I think most of us, especially in this community feel that way. Uh, so it's good to have this kind of confirmation or I know it's an outside, um, confirmation that we are enough and we are what we should be, but it's good to hear it from the cards and especially, you know, so, um, silver soul Fox, I, I think you have this deck maybe. If not, uh, let me know what you think of this, if this resonates with you also. Okay, and then the last one was um, this one I picked because when I when I, I rewatched my video, and I do rewatch my videos, and I cut out some of the, you know, if there's a siren going over or my dog is incessantly barking and you couldn't hear me anyways, or um, just a few of the little things like that for that. But I did see that this was flipped in the deck when I was shuffling it. So I know I had talked about it um, in the flip through, but I was really kind of, I don't know how it got flipped. Um, maybe I put it down the other way. Um, anyways, I saw it and that it was flipped. And so I looked through the deck. I saw that a card was flipped, not specifically this one. So I looked through to find the card that was flipped and it was this one. So I wanted to go back and read this. A lot of you who are watching this probably know about kind of our soul sister um, community, which is open to everybody. Um, I think the, <laughs> the only requirements are that you're not an asshole, um, <laughs> according to <laughs> Beth and, um, and Hestia. And if you haven't seen their latest um, box opening, it's hilarious. I It was like I watched it right before I went to sleep. I've had a hard day and I was cracking up. It was I, I mean, they're just delightful and I love to see them together. Um, they're both amazing people. And but anyways, go watch that one. Um, it's on Beth's channel for sure. Uh, and I'll link her. And if I can link the I can link the video. I will also. Um, and anybody else's channel. Silver Soul Fox also has a channel. So if you haven't seen hers. Uh, Teresa, do you have a channel? I'm not sure if you do. But um, I will check. All right. So let's get into this. So anyways. But you know. We have functions that we get together online. Zooms and stuff like that. And we are planning some get togethers in the future. So um, if you're interested. Let us know. Um, and we can get you the information. And get your information. So. All right, I'm going to um, read this one for us. This is for the collective. So this includes everybody in our collective, but also um, anybody who would like to be included, either just in spirit or completely com in it or anywhere in between that. So here we go. I got so caught up in my rambling. <laughs> I hope you're all here still. Okay. Spirit Guardian of Winter Retreat. Night is coming and the temperature is dropping as you follow the path through the, through the snow to a small cabin. A golden light flickers through the windows. You stomp the snow off your feet, open the door, and step in. Instantly you are embraced by the heat of the fire and the tantalizing aroma of the soup nestled on the potbelly stove. A large overstuffed chair awaits you. You curl up in the chair and warm yourself by the fire. This card indicates that it's time to pull back from people and situations that do not empower or support you. Let go of anything or anyone that drains you and protects. protect yourself from less than positive influences. 
it's time to renew your energy. Incubate your dreams for the future. Make plans for tomorrow. But remember that this is a season of rest and recuperation. Winter is the time for replenishing your inner resources. Care for your body and your health. Mend and organize objects in your home. Repair whatever needs to be repaired in your life. Step into sacred silence to discover the answers within. A spurt of springtime energy is coming, but you absolutely must be prepared and must create foundations. Otherwise, it can seem overwhelming and destabilizing. Spiritually, winter is a season to retreat and of retreat and renewal. It's the time to be still and take stock of your life and your future. The spirit guard spirit guardian of winter reminds us to stop the busyness of life and relax the spirit guardian of winter says enter the silent deep place within you renew retreat repair your body items and relationships examine your life and make adjustments if as needed watch your nocturnal dreams meditate look for messages from spirit that's an interesting one and i think um you know if we look at the current time of year um it's february and we're coming on spring but where there's a lot of storms going on across the country at least in the northern um, hemisphere we it's cold it's where i'm at it's been raining a lot so there's no going outside it's either you know hanging out at home doing um doing laundry and cleaning and whatever else but also just kind of chilling the f out i am a go a doer and a go person i feel um, a sense of guilt when i'm not doing things um it's this kind of productivity uh thing that we have in our culture i am trying to learn to relax and not do things and not necessarily like i have a tendency to do that but then go on my phone and just watch videos which can be fun and you know especially in this community, but I also need to put my phone down and uh, relax my mind and meditate, um, pull cards, think about things, process emotions. Anyways, I really want to thank um, everybody who commented on this, the last video, which you can find in my playlist that is flip throughs and reads, card readings, I think. So anyways, it, there's not a lot, you can find it. But um let me know down below if you uh, resonated with with anything, and then if you also if you if you go back and watch that video if you haven't yet, and you want to have a reading for another card, let me know and I'll do that too. Um, this was kind of fun. I like doing this, and I think I might do um, some more and do other deck flip throughs, the ones that I have that I really like. Um, and you guys can ask for cards to be pulled or tell me which ones you are interesting interested in. And we'll do that. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Um,